Yeah. So, till now what we have seen happens to be with respect to the plan of the universe starting with, right? The plan of the universe starting with what is the universe? That it is nature material. It has got the nature side. It has got the human body. It has got the soul. It has got the intelligent side. It has got the realm of permanence and so on and so forth. It has a structure and Everything in this universe has got to proceed with respect to a particular plan. Having completed how the units evolve and how the units then will move from becoming a breath form. From a breath form, it becomes the AIA unit, and from the AIA unit, it becomes. It's the background sound that is coming. <laughs> Somebody, I'm going to mute uh, everyone. Whoever needs to talk will be permitted to unmute on their own. Okay. Right. So now what he says is as regards the earth, as regards the earth. What he is presenting in the current context is limited. And, however, as far as the human being is concerned, whatever his progression is required, that much is the focus of the current topic. That is what we will also be doing. Right? And this is with respect to how the law of thought works in relationship to the human being, his evolution, his progression, and so on. Okay. So, in the sphere of Earth, the, phys the physical, visible universe, which is in the solid state of the physical plane of the human physical world, what is that? If we try to take a look, right? We know that if this is the sphere of the earth, right? These uh, circles have to be visualized as concentric circles, not the way that is shown here. Right? So you have the human physical world surrounded by the form world, surrounded by the life world, surrounded by the light world. All of you are aware of this, right? Now, the light world evolves from where the light world evolves from where That is the top, topmost, right, sir? Whether top, it is not topmost. Mm. I told you these are all concentric circles. Okay. Now, where is light going to come? If I remove fire, will you get wire light? No. You won't, right? No. So what does it mean? One of the four elements, right? One of the four elements. Fire. One of the four elements. Which one, sir? Light ke liye counts or fire? Fire. Fire. Right? Or whatever Correct. Like so, it is the fire. Then, for the life, light, so fire, 
फिजिकल प्लेन नाउ फॉर एनीथिंग टू बी विजिबल इन दॉलिड स्टेट what is it that is required yesterday also we discussed this part it have for anything to manifest in this physical world it has to contain what some characteristics for the senses no sir before that it needs to be containing part of fire On the physical Water, element, four of the physical element. Yeah, yeah. All the four, but these are in the form of these are available only in the solid state. Solid state, yeah. So in the solid state, what happens? Solid state is further subdivided into substates. Correct. Right. So the substrates are radiant solid, airy solid, fluid solid, and solid solid. Right? Yes. And the physical visible universe, which is the solid state of the physical plane of the human physical world. Now. the physical plane of the human physical world again has got what all it has got the unmanifested and manifested right say that again please the physical world physical human world human physical world correct right? is the manifested part of the human world correct and the unmanifested is the realm of permanence you all remember that diagram right right two right? two level yes correct so now what happens is we are able to see only the visible portion that is what is available and visible to us as human beings in the earth sphere we are able to see only a small portion and that happens to be the human physical world and beyond that particular point it is not visible to the ordinary human right and we are not able to even think about them because whatever you you were telling me earlier in the sense we are under the control of our senses the same thing he is repeating in a different by thinking suppose you are able to think that is precipitated on to the earth into visibility which means whatever you are able to think you can project it correct yeah hold it in your hand to no say you are able to recreate that into the physical form right for that you need to think yeah right so by thinking that is precipitated onto our earth into visibility through the four worlds right it is because anything beyond the physical is only visible to the mind correct that portion of the four spheres which is within and blended into the sphere of earth as fire air water sorry if i uh, yeah into our uh, the sphere of earth 
not the earth physical but the sphere right as fire air water and earth right now the nature matter thus concreted may be perceived by the four senses of man and our perception out of this combination with the degree of differences that is existing this becomes human form animal form human structure animal structure vegetable form vegetable structure and mineral kingdoms so all these kingdoms are formed by virtue of these four elements which are in line with what the mind is able to perceive and then what you have perceived you are going to give it the physical life you are going to recreate that in the physical world right now what happens so this is how the evolution of the various spheres progressed from starting with elements into forming the world and occupants of the world are you with me yes sir now let us go a little bit further the senses of the body are elemental beings right that is nature units they are personalized parts of the four elements of the invisible nature are you with me not 100% sir why so the nature units what is nature unit everything that is existing is nature unit right right so they they can only be perceived through our senses in terms of a human form in the physical world but actually you can't perceive them even in the physical world they are part of the invisible four spheres hmm. see a portion of it you are able to see as manifested correct in the physical world yes correct right so that is what he is meaning the senses of the body are elemental beings they are personalized parts of the four elements of invisible nature invisible nature four elements are again the same four same four yeah right the senses are developed and drawn and bound into the human body yeah they are developed they are, the right now and they bear the seal of the doer that in here it says why the seal of the doer without the doer these senses have no power of intelligence right? on no correct because the limited intelligence the senses do not feel sir they are aware of their function yeah very limited the, intelligence but the senses do not have a feeling yes nor does nature have a feeling who is having the feeling but through the senses the doer in the human body feels and desires yeah the matter which composes the human body is impressed directly by the thinking and the thought of the doer in the human body are you with me i think i am yes yeah. i to yes. say i want to ask everyone because i want yeah. everyone on this page yes. any questions please do not hesitate ask but this is no exam right we are all here to learn every question you ask gives me an opportunity to learn and every answer i give gives all of us including me an opportunity to learn 
and learn better. So ask the questions. Sir, can you share the screen which you were sharing so far now, sir? Just once, if you don't mind. Okay. I can share the screen, but uh, because uh, I had to talk to you people, I had to remove the screen. Uh -huh. Yeah, ask me. Achanaji, is this the one or the concentric circles? No, no, this is the one. So what okay. I was telling, sir, eight second. This is blocking my screen. I think you should move the cursor, sir. Uh, I think it's showing a black picture. Yeah. No, no, no. That was because I switched on the video panel. I was not mm -hmm. able to see any of you. Na? Anyway, the, it's a couple of days. After that, uh, even this will go away. I'm going to use a more powerful software. Wow. Sir, yeg sentence, sir, and they bear the seal of the doer that inhibits it. Correct. Uh, yes, this part, like, like, what do you mean by bear the seal of the doer that inhibits? It's okay. like kind of a, uh, like, okay. what do you say? What do you understand by the word form? Form? Huh? The human form? What is this, Sir uh, That's a Caesar. How do you know? That's what we have learned and that's what our perception is of a fever. Correct. So, instead of the word perception, can this be the impression that I have created in your mind? Mm -hmm. Or whatever okay. we have. Yeah, yes. impression. Right? I have created an impression. Now, let us go back to what that document says. Or now read the sentence again. And they bear the seal of the doer that okay. inhibits. Okay. Okay. So, what are the senses? They are fundamentally elemental beings and nature units. Mm -hmm. They are personalized parts of the four elements of invisible nature. Huh. Like, the, what are the senses? The senses are developed and drawn and bound into the human body. Okay. What are the senses? Wait, sir. Hearing, seeing. Uh, uh, and... uh. So, when I showed you something, why did you call it a scissor? Because I was sensing it from my eyes. Correct. But, so, yeah. what is... Uh, is that something that the doer has integrated all these components and then given you that picture? No, the sensor thing is allowing the doer to... Sensor thing? See, what is the sensor doing? It is taking this picture. That impression is there in your mind, correct? Okay. Match color. Now, what are the sensors doing? So, in the first time, they created this impression. Okay. Now, whenever you see what happens to this impression, you recall that key. This. Uh, who is doing that? Mm, that's our so, mind, no, sir. Suppose I remove the ability to feel, okay. desire, okay. and think. What is this? If you don't have those ability, then you cannot. Uh, I mean, it's nothing for you, right? It doesn't exist or it doesn't happen. Oh, it exists, but you are not able to. You are yeah, falling into the unmanifested domain rather than the manifested yeah. domain. Okay, got it, got it. Uh -huh. It exists, but we cannot, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Exactly. So, now, I create that impression. They bear the seal of the doer that inhibits it. To you, this may be a scissors. To somebody else, this may look like a knife. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the senses do not feel. Nature does not feel. But through the senses, the doer in the human feels and desires. The matter which composes the human body is impressed directly. Are you following? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
by the thinking and the thoughts of the doer in the human body whatever impression that is getting created is felt desired and the impression created by the human body i could teach someone saying that the scissors is actually a knife don't you know right all the matter in the human world has passed does pass and will again and again pass through the human bodies in streams of units and do what cyclically by circulation this happens when we breathe in and breathe out thus there is kept a continuous circulation of the units of nature through the human body it is kept going by thinking and breathing by which the matter is taken in and returned to the states and planes are you with me why is it taken and returned to the states and planes why do you think why do you think it is taken and returned to the different states and planes progress and sir think a little bit more what is the sphere of earth made up of what is the universe made up of let me ask that question matter solids liquids Gases. and how do they exist in the universe they exist in different forms they exist as elements they exist as planes they exist as worlds they exist as states right but it is the four elements only in those all those various existences correct and one permits the other Yeah. Correct. And all of them permit the Earth sphere. Yes. Correct. That is why you have to take him and return. Back. Okay. So it is thus that the units of the human world descend and ascend continuously. after the death of the body and the dispersion into nature of the senses uh, into the nature of the senses and the other nature units there remains the form of breath form that is the only one that remains the breath form stays in the psychic atmosphere of the doer and is later used as a model of the pattern to build a new body for the doer you remember that diagram right the 12 states i don't know if it is there in this system or not i think it is not here 12 states So that diagram has not come in. So those are the twelve states of the doer. Of Every the doer. life, there is only one state that comes in, right? Yeah. So. All right. Every life, it takes only one or one of those forms. Say that again, sir. One every life, every okay. lifetime, one of those twelve states are the the, the dominant okay. uh, one for that yeah. life. 
Okay, yeah, right. Hmm. Uh, the triune self called doer itself has got 12 states. Yeah. Hmm. Now, so doer in the physical body also has got 12 states. Hmm. Yeah. So the physical body transforms from one state to the other states in one life to the other life. Correct. Okay. So this whatever is remaining in the breath form is the one that helps form the next life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now by the process, by this process, innumerable bodies will be built successively for a re-existing doer. That means as he, as he is entering. Right? Yeah, successively, yes. Correct. As a result of the experiences and the learning of the doer in these bodies, the units of which the bodies are composed are eventually equilibrated. What does equilibrated mean? Balanced. Mm. Right? So by this progress, the feeling and desire of each part, thereby the active and passive of each element, will then get stabilized. And the feeling and desire of the doer of the triune self are in balanced unit in a regenerated and perfected physical body. See, one important contention that we should not forget, there are three more points, then I will explain that. The part of the plan which is outlined relates merely to the operation of the law of thought as destiny, in so far as the operation of the law is the rule of the life for the man. And as the purpose of the universe is unfolded further, additional features of the plan are given in the subsequent sections he is saying. So now, let us put all this together. What are we getting? So universe as an object. What is the objective of the universe? To make it balance. Is progression, progression. of all the units of nature matter. Okay? These nature units exist in all spheres. But because of the difference in consciousness of each one, the degree of consciousness, right? Because of that degree, it wants all of them to be equal to intelligent. If all the units which are made up of fire, then air, then water, then earth crust. Right? Initially, fire has to pass through. That is, the doer has to ensure that the fire has become part of intelligent. Then his next cycle is that of what? In units we learned, no? One has to complete the cycle, then he starts the next cycle. Next cycle is what? Air. Air, right? Then, so fire will permit air, will permit water, will permit earth first. Right? These four elements are also mandatory for anything physical to be seen in this physical world. Then he goes through these four are going through this sphere of fire, sphere of air, sphere of... So four spheres are over. Then he comes to the worlds, the planes, sorry, the planes, the worlds, and then the states, and then the substates. 
as he has been passing through all of this, he comes to be called the breath form. Breath form is the one that we have not yet seen how it is moving into AI yet that we will see in tomorrow's session. But today, what is happening? He has come here. What is the purpose of the universe with respect to its objective and the human? What is the purpose of the body? To become a triune self. To purify the impurities in the body. Body is consistent, Swarna. Mm. Body has got two forms. It has got a mortal form and an immortal form. Okay. Right. Mortal form is the one which is fit for the triune self to occupy. When can the triune self occupy the immortal physical body? When form is... When body. all the units that make up those are fully balanced. That means they don't have the active and passive components at a different degree. Right. So, if they are completely balanced, there is no more dominance of the active at one stage and passive at the other stage. Everything is balanced. That means you have achieved the equilibrium that is essential. You are now having a perfect body and as the doer from the portion that has come back, you are going and joining back your triune self, thereby the triune self is now ready to progress, provided he is when tested, able to sustain his state of balance. Are you with me? Perfect, sir. Yeah. Now when he is able to sustain that, he then progresses into what you call dream of permanence. Dream of once he had entered, he has entered the realm of permanence, his primary duty is in administration of the universe. Okay. Administration of the world's spheres and all that, which are constituent components of the universe. Okay. Now, in this universe, in such a universe, the administration is the responsibility of the realm of permanence, which is occupied by whom? Who is occupying the realm of permanence? Universities. To a so they are called universities. That's a different matter. I will come to that university concept as we progress. That was only at the introduction that yes, they become universities. But even the universities, what are they made of? Balanced uh, triune self. Excellent. So triune self is the foundation for the progression. Whichever way you look at it. When the triune self lacks the progression, lacks the balance, which is tested by virtue of say, creating the desire and creating an imbalance between the feeling and desire. Right. Then they fall. Correct. So, triune self has got the knower, thinker, doer. Look at the interesting part. The triune self, when he has migrated into the realm of permanence, he has no thinker desirer. That desirer keeps on tempting. So, in our example, that desirer is Menka. 
and triune self is Vishwamitra, who is always subjected to taste, test. Right? And then there are how these things move into the this one in the next part we will learn. When it comes to progression, he says, taste progresses to smell. Sound progresses into this. So each of these four, as they progress, the sense organs also progress from one to the other. That we will learn tomorrow. Yeah. Is that clear to everyone? So, so one question. Sir. Hmm. In the realm of permanence, hmm. uh, your triune self is balanced, right? If the triune self is balanced, uh, then uh, he will be there in the uh, uh, realm of permanence. Otherwise, yeah. he is again no. back to earth. No, why do he have? Why he is having desire there, sir? Why desire is dominating there in the balanced triune self? No, no. See, there is. If you have to progress, let me ask this question another way. Let me rephrase your question. Can you re can you progress without desire? No. Thank you. You have answered your question. So desire is always there, ma'am, but it is not. Uh, um, is you know, your feeling equal to desire, or there is an imbalance? When you have no feelings, then uh -huh. desire. Like, it's, no, it's no, no. You will have feelings, Swarna. Uh -huh. See, See, there is a just like in spiritual tablets, we say we are energy consciousness and. Wisdom, ECWs. Okay. Mm. Likewise, here we are knower, thinker, doer. Right, sir. But in and, the, the... and there is a body, and there is a body. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah. each of them have got an active component and a passive component. Yeah. Right. Any one of these uh, passive and uh, active component can result in an imbalance between desire and feeling. Look at the construct. If I take the triune self, no, it is selfness and dynamics. Right? The active and passive. Mm. If the ego and what you know is not one and the same, then there is a desire. Mm. Right? Mm. Otherwise, if the desire is not there, then it may be the difference between rightness and reason. reason. Mm. Right? So ego is taking over. There is an imbalance. Mm. I'm just trying to create a hypothetical example, huh? just to explain the concept. As we move forward, maybe that is the way it will evolve. Right. Now, I have got rightness and reason. But these thoughts can be influenced by anybody. What is right for you is wrong for me. Hmm. Right? There is an imbalance already. Hmm. The nature has to set it right. That means in the nature, there is an imbalance. Hmm. Correct? Now, let us go a little bit further. Now, this gap is going to create, make the thinker come out with uh, the difference. There is going to be a thought which is going to influence the doer. Mm. Right? Mm. And the doer, if he is not able to balance the feeling and desire, then he is back to square one. His body has become impure. Mm. Mm. He has so again purified the body. So he comes with his body mm. to the physical earth, mm. purifies the body depending upon where the imbalance lies. Mm. For which he has to go through this entire cycle. Maybe he may jump cycles quickly, but he has to go through. Hmm. And then he goes back and becomes balanced. 
so he so has finished learning the new things also he has learned in the process hmm hmm that is how the whole thing that is the cycle and recycle so once they are uh, balanced we are only seeing in a realm of permanence only Correct. we are seeing the active ones like Correct. that's a thinker no desire even though the feeling is implicit it's it's all the activeness is that Correct. right sir car oh, okay Correct. so they're not on away but if something folks like vishwamitra then the feelings come out of that desire Correct. No, see, so it look at this. Then no, no, see, but interestingly, then see what will happen by the time you have finished your evolution and you have balanced. There may be a new path that has come up. Hmm. Maybe your journeys are all over. You have entered the realm of permanence. You have become a university, which means you are a specialist in a particular area. Hmm. Okay. and universe is progressing so you may have some fluctuations in your balance state correct so if the, the if the balance state is again going to manifest then you get exactly you need yeah, to yeah. go through this yeah so exactly. how spiritual tablets is at the foundation level here which then manifests as disease how are you going to cure that disease which manifests as difficulties how are you going to balance those difficulties that is why i said thinking and destiny is going to be the basis of our spiritual tablets also so yeah i think deepamam is also asking question it's never ending process yeah i 